The Moped Jones Drunken Podcast is now on the air. Welcome to the Moped Jones Drunken Podcast episode three, and I do not want to do this because the Bears just lost in the fucking playoffs because Captain, because God hates Cody Parkey. Yar! He made like a bunch of million dollars this year, but you better talk louder, man. This is for you. I did not want to do one. So here's Kate Shaver. Woo! Hold your applause, because she's not fucking boring as shit. Or a pumpkin spicer. Knock it out of the park, motherfucker. It's all you. What are we drinking tonight? Jägermeister and Red Bull. I that was actually fun. Except for at the end when Cody Park missed a field goal. I just thought God would be like, hold my beer. I'm going to make it hit the upright and then hit the other one and bounce in. But God's like, I hate you twice. So I don't know what Cody Park he did. Maybe he didn't do anything. Maybe it's just the beer. The Maybe bear there's just general. no God. No. Maybe God doesn't give a shit about sports. But maybe he should have given a shit about Cody Parkey because now all off season he's going to think about killing him fucking self. No, no. And it ain't going to help that I'm going to be tweeting him egging him on. Wow. I won't. Don't I you, won't. Don't you do that to Cody. I won't do it to Cody. He's a nice boy. You don't know that for sure. Kickers are always nice boys. I don't know. I feel like the Stanford rapist guy was a kicker. <laughs> Whatever his name was. I thought he was a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he was a kicker, too. No, I don't know. <laughs> he probably kicked all the women he raped before he swam on them. <laughs> well, we clearly don't have a theme for our podcast. Our so. theme is forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Cody Parkey is going to hell because oh. there's no God, which makes no sense if you analyze it. Yeah. <laughs> How can he go to hell if there's no God? Because of science, motherfuckers. Your argument blocks a little logic. My <laughs> argument falls in on itself and then falls in on itself again and then <laughs> fucks itself in the ass and then just quits. <laughs> oh, no. That's my argument. Oh. So did I win? Do we have to keep going? Yeah. No one's no one's going to keep listening. No, that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. We lost him. So let's talk about something that people might care about. <sighs> Porn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm listening. So, from a relationship stance, uh -huh. like, what's up with porn? Like, if you're in a relationship and you're already getting laid pretty regularly, why does porn still matter? Well, what kind of relationship is it? Well, like, our, Do you live together? Yeah, you lived, well, no, let's say it's a fresh relationship. And you're getting laid on the regular. How regular? Like just Saturdays? Yeah. Okay, well then, what's your, what are you arguing about? No, I just, I'm curious, because if you're already getting laid pretty regularly, why do you, why does porn still need to be incorporated into that sort of scenario? I don't think just on Saturdays is regular enough. Okay, let's say... Just change you have it. a healthy appetite for sex, and you're getting laid, like, three to four times a week. Oh. Would porn still factor in to that scenario? Yeah. Okay, why? Um, because, f lots of reasons, actually. Okay. One, science. <laughs> Number two, math. Okay. And number three, apples to oranges. Hmm. Okay. I think I've made my point. I really don't follow. All right. Here's the thing. Women want sex less than men. So you might think three is a lot, and I think it's not enough. So if I go wank it four more times while you're asleep... Thank me for not waking you up. 
So, okay, so if you're not living together, would you still have, like, masturbation time while you're at her place? At her place? Yeah. Like, she's asleep, she doesn't wake up for morning sex? No, that's rude. Okay. But if it's your place, yes. (laughs) Very much so. Okay. So, what'd you learn? (laughs) No, it's interesting. I just, you know, as a female... That, I don't know, likes sex regularly, but not quite as... Do you? Because your face says you hate it all the time. Well, you like morning sex, and I hate morning. You hate sex in general, and I just do you a favor in the morning, because it doesn't last like a minute in the morning, because I wake up with a boner. Huh. Well, agree to disagree. Uh, You... I do wake up with a boner. Well, it's just, no, no, no. That's not what I mean. When we started, you were like, I'm DTF. And then when we lived together, you're like, when I said that, I meant once a month. And I'm like, oh, that's not what that means. You, you, you're either lying or stupid. <laughs> that's not what that means. We clearly have different sex drives. Fair enough. Okay, let's... We're getting off topic. Yeah, because I'm winning. Let's go. (laughs) All right, so let's go to online dating. Mm -hmm. So when a dude joins a site like online dating, how, like, serious are you to try to find somebody, like, for a long-term commitment, or is it just looking for somebody for the right now? What I always did was... I was looking for whatever was fastest. Gotcha. And then if it led to something more cool, like, you and I were a fucking booty call. You were the booty call that never left. And that sounds like a 1950s (laughs) horror movie. (laughs) Snay up! (laughs) But you were... After we fucked, we were sitting on the couch and I just turned to him like, you can live here now. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, did. I did. And then you did. <laughs> like four months later, you moved in. Yeah. That was a good time. Yeah. And you brought your dog. Uh, R.I.P. Wilbur. What a good dog. 2000 to 2017. What a good boy. In the five years, I was his co-owner in quotes. I think he only barked like four times. He was! He was was the best, and I'm scared to get another dog, because I just know they're going to bark more than four times in five (laughs) years, because every other dog has done that. Okay, getting back on topic. Yeah. When does a girl know when a guy is serious? I don't know, man. Like, when when did you feel like you were serious with any girl? Any girl? Yeah, like... It was different. Okay. Well, it was pretty much after sex. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, you can live with me. Yeah, no, it was after coitus. Probably the first coitus. <laughs> I, first, I think I've told every girl I've fucked, you can come live with me. Okay. So, uh... Very selective on who I live with or marry. Thanks for sticking around long enough to get married. Yeah, I know. It's fun. Congratulations. I enjoy the weird things that come out of your mouth. It's fun. I I wish I wouldn't say most of them. Uh, it, but they are pretty enjoyable. Are they? Because I feel like half of them hurt your feelings. Some, they do, but then when I write them down in the book, it's like, oh, this will be funny later. And most of them are funny later. Yeah, they are. Alright, so New Year's resolutions. Yeah. I think we should have some. That's my resolution. (laughs) Is that I think we should have a resolution this year. Yeah. Even though it's like a weekend to the year. Yeah. Alright, what's yours? Uh, well, I put on 50 pounds because I started this new medication, so I would like Time to... out! <laughs> I'd like to Did you put on 50? 50, yeah. You were 150, got down to like 130 during your insano month. 
Yeah, and then you put 50 back on. Yeah. So you put like... You put like 30 on after you had lost 20. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. 130 was my goal, so... Yeah, I mean, I feel so bad for you and me because, holy shit, man. When you went cuckoo bird for that month and a half, mm -hmm. you were so fucking hot. <laughs> I was just like, this is almost worth it. <laughs> Except for she's fucking insane. Yeah. But holy goddamn, you were so fucking hot. And just watching you slowly put that on back on oh, with man. all three or four of your medications have a side effect of weight gain. Yeah. And when you're taking four pills that have four side effects of weight gain, just watching you get sadder over the summer and the fall and then that fucking sucked. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know, like, losing the weight was, like, the only... Like, Benefit. right, yeah. it was the only silver lining of going insane. You're like, at least I lost the weight. And then life is like, hold my beer. Yeah. And then eat all this candy. Because, <sighs> holy shit. But they're going to put you on some stuff in the spring. Because they didn't want you to be sad over the winter. Yeah. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You work out and you eat the right shit. You're not like me. Like, I'm a, I'm a different kind of fat. Like, I'm a mad fat. Mad fat. I am hashtag mad fat. Like, I don't think there's a god. I don't even believe in Cody Parkey anymore. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> like, I'm a different kind of fat. Like, I lost a bunch of weight, and then it rained for three days. I got pissed off a of God, and then I gained 60 pounds over the next oh, four man. years. Like, because I was mad that it fucking rained. Yeah. During a time of year where that amount of rain is normal, and somehow I thought God hated me and I was supposed to be fat. I don't know. But now I know that he hates Cody Parkey. So at least he's off your back. Yeah, at least he's fucking with Cody Parkey now and not me. <laughs> so that feels good. That feels real good. I feel like a huge weight got lifted off my shoulders tonight. So hashtag thank you, Cody Parkey, for being God's enemy. Yeah. And he's not even mentioned in the Bible. I don't know. I feel like he should have been in Revelation somewhere. Oh, like, my gosh. Gotta kill Cody Parkey. No! Well, I like Cody Parkey! God's the one that hates him, not me. I I was praying for the thing to go through. Okay. Hashtag God hates Cody Parkey. None of these will catch on because no one's listening. Oh, that's all right. All right, you're leading this. Let's go. All right, the next well, part. so so what do we what do? What have I done? Like, so I'm starting this uh, macrobiotic vegan diet. Uh, I know. Okay. I don't know. Can we even say that about vegetables anymore? No. Okay, then I won't. Not in this political climate. Not in this context. No. Beets taste like dirt. I love it. Hashtag. I love it. All right, come on. You're leading this. I won't. That's all I got. Are you shitting me? Came in here for this just to talk shit about Cody Parkey? Yeah. And how there's no God. Yeah. Because of Cody Parkey. Cody Parkey proves there's no God. I, I think that was proven today. I disagree. I don't know. Maybe that'll be next week's topic. Yeah, maybe. When we're not watching football because God hated Cody Parkey this week. Yeah. It's all your fucking notes? Yeah, that's all I got. I Do you want to talk know. about porn some more? If you'd like. Here is why I think I was put on this planet. Okay. To make porn with a sensible plot. All right. Oh, do I have to explain? Yeah. Like, who the fuck orders a pizza and then just doesn't... And then when the pizza shows up, they didn't know they had enough money to pay for it. Like, how mm. would you not know? Yeah. I feel like that's something you would do, but you wouldn't fuck them. Like, okay. even before me, you'd be like, no, oh, I'm a girl and I'm bad at numbers and I lost my purse and I just thought the pizza fairy would just leave 20 on the steps. That sounds like you. <laughs> but me... 
Fuck you. If I ordered pizza and didn't have money, and then I tried to seduce the guy, he'd be like, he would call the fucking police. Yeah, I would. Well, he would. And I'd be like, wait, wait, I saw a movie where you're supposed to be cool with this. And he'd be like, Ghostbusters 3? I don't think so, pal. Because <laughs> they never made it. What about the Ghostbusters with uh, Kate McKinnon? And that was a reboot. That was not Jones. Ghostbusters 3. No? That was a reboot. That was just like uh, okay. Vagina girl Ghostbusters. Gotcha. Those were Like, at the least, they could have made them like their kids. Like, we all had lesbian daughters who fought ghosts. But they're just like... Meh, we'll make appearances and not even be the people we were. I don't know. I never fucking watched it. It probably doesn't suck. But, like, we didn't need it. Okay. Like, that doesn't make it edgy. It's like, how about we do the same thing, but nobody has dicks? <gasps> I'm good. <laughs> like I don't care now. I don't. Uh, we didn't even see their decks in the first one. So like, who gives a shit? <laughs> like the first one, the first two, they could have not had dicks, and we wouldn't have known. Yeah. We just think they're dudes because we're fucking gender racist dickheads who thinks if you look like a man, you're a man. What if they were all transgendered or whatever? Yeah. I don't know. They could have been. Those could have been all. Those could have been women in the first one. We don't know. Gender blind. I don't see gender when I look at people's genitals. <laughs> I told you I didn't want to do this tonight. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I, just... I think it's probably funny. But, yeah. But we shouldn't have done it. Uh, I think it's good. That's fine. What yeah. else you got? That's all I got, babe. That's all I got. So, in 2019, we're both going to lose a lot of weight. I'm going to try to do some open mics and get my stand-up thing started. And, uh, Kate's going to do more anal, I hope. No. No? Not going to happen. No? You no. still you still cross at the last time? Yeah. Uh, in t 2012? Yeah. That's how long it's been since you've been cool. Yeah, you wrecked that shit. Well, in my defense... You pitched it, so I thought you were an old anal queen. Nope. Nope, you were a fucking rookie, just... Just trying to please her man. Oh, God, you used to be so fucking cool. <laughs> and now it's like, you're barely trying. Yeah. All right! That's what that... marriage does, kids. Uh, <laughs> so I guess tonight's lesson is don't get married. No, do it. It's fun. And then... Yeah, I like it. Dude. I do. I really like being married. It feels the same to me, except now we live in a trailer instead of an apartment. I feel like people don't judge me. I feel like people are like, someone married you? You're so gross. <laughs> so I feel like I'm still getting judged. Oh, damn. But like for different <laughs> reasons. Oh, shit. Well, I don't want to do this anymore. So... What else you got? Alright, bye! bye! See you next time! And Valentine's Day! <laughs>